I wrote this just the other day. I was having a deep conversation with God. As I'm asking God for guidance and reassurance, God tells me, trust yourself. I am you and you are me. We are one. The kingdom of God is within you. I am your father. You have everything you need. You are exactly where you need to be. You, my daughter, are going to serve me on the highest level. You're ready. I need you to know I love you and you need to love you. All of you. You are perfect. That day, I went into the bathroom. This is kind of personal, so, but... It is what it is, right? This is how everything started to unfold. That day, I went into the bathroom and removed all my clothing. I looked in the mirror, and that day, for the very first time in my life, I seen my true self, and I fell in love with me. That there, what I wrote, it's such, it's on such a deep, deep personal level that it's very hard to explain when, I, when I'm telling you guys that for the first time in my entire life, I fell in love with me like feeling that unconditional love for me yeah you know there's something that we got to get into also that has to do with that we were sitting at the table having dinner another time one of those times that we have moments when we're sitting together eating as a family um but joey i think it was joey was mentioning something i don't know if it was about scars or if it was about something but it's like it was like something like it doesn't look good or whatever. Mm-hmm. Right. Or, mm-hmm. or like somebody's not going to like it or whatever. And it was like, dude. These are these scars that you have, these aches. Oh, I think it was about the aches and pains, like getting bumps and bruises. And, you know, like especially like jujitsu. Like, I mean, that's a freaking great example. Like your your knuckles hurt, your toes hurt, your elbow pops. But these are all parts of experiences that we've had in life. Like you oh, look at somebody's cauliflower yes. ear or a scar on their face or like whatever. Just Or women that have had babies right, that have exactly. stretch marks on their belly. Shit, man. Or the wrinkles that you get from the smile lines. Yeah. Right? Right. It's all, those are all stories. And that's exactly, yes, yeah. that, that's exactly what I was going through in this moment. I put, I fell in love with my not so tight inner thighs, I fell in love with my not so tight arms and my dimples that us women call cellulite. I fell in love with all my perfections. Before you would hear me saying, "Imperfect." We are, yeah, perfectly imperfect. Right. But it, but God was like, no, 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 no. You are perfect. Yeah. Those are perfections, not imperfections. Right. And for the first time, I was like, oh my gosh, like it. It was. Almost like at the deepest part where I was connecting to my, to my soul, like my, you know, and I felt empowered and amazingly beautiful after just going through this entire process of this, you know, having this conversation with God. So we will have a tribe of women, and and this is me, we will have a tribe of women embracing themselves and embracing other women with love, compassion, empathy, and strength. Knowing who they are, we women are game changers. Together we will embrace our gifts and walk in strength and love, pure love. This will affect our children and the men in our lives in such a beautiful way. And I'm like, you know, I'm screaming within as if I'm screaming from Mount Everest because I know that this is exactly what God has been training me for. Life hasn't happened to me, it's happened for me.